Let's start out with a scale problem. Let's say we have a map with a scale of 1 to 24,000. Okay? And we have a ground distance of 13,500 feet. Okay? And we want to know what is the distance for that 13,500 feet on the map. Okay? So, first of all, I'm going to convert 1 to 24,000. 1 to 24,000 is unitless, isn't it? Okay? Therefore, that means 1 inch equals 24,000 inches, or 1 foot equals 24,000 feet. Therefore, how about we make a quick conversion. We can say 1 inch equals 24,000 inches times what? Uh, we want inches to cancel, so we're going to put 12 inches in the bottom, and that's 1 foot, correct? Inches cancel, leaving me feet, and I think you can see this readily converts to 1 inch equals 2,000 feet. Alright, well, if that's the case, I can simply say that 1 inch on the map equals 2,000 feet on the ground. That's my map scale, and I want to find what is the distance D on the map when the ground distance is 13,000. 500 feet. Well, here it is. All I've got to do is is the math, and I find that indeed D, if I do the simple math, if I solve for D, D is going to be 6.75 inches. That's a fairly simple problem. The key here is to recognize there's a difference between a unitless uh, scale ratio and a scale equivalency like we see right here. Both of these are the same expression but in two different formats. Alright, let's go on to the next example. And the next example I'd like to deal with is simply a paper scale issue. Okay, so let's say I have um, an 18 inch by 24 inch uh, drawing sheet and I am going to use one half inch margins. Okay? Well then, if that's the case, uh, what we want to know is the best scale for drawing um, a rectangular tract that is 320 feet by 570 feet. This is in the north-south direction and this is in the east-west direction. So I think you can understand we're looking at a 
landscape orientation, correct? All right. Well, if this is my 18-inch side and this is my 24-inch side and north is going to go that way, let's just simply figure this out. Let's consider that a north-south distance of 320 feet divided by my plottable area would give me a an approximate north scale. Now, what's my plottable area? I've got half inch margins, right? So my plottable area becomes 17 inches, doesn't it? Because 18 minus a half on the top, half on the bottom gives me 17. All right, well, when I do that, uh, let's just see here. Let's do some quick math. We'll say 320 divided by 17 equals 18 point, we'll just call it 18.8 .8 feet per inch. Okay? And let's do the same thing for 570 feet. Uh, my east-west distance on the map would be 24 inches minus half by, minus half minus a half, so it's 23 inches, correct? So I'll simply take that and say 570 divided by 23 inches, and I get 24.8 feet per inch. Well, <clears throat> these would be maximum scales. So let's think. Let's think about what this means. Well, I'm sorry. Got to get my mouse to obey. So we're simply saying that in the in this direction, I'd have 18.8 feet per inch going this direction, and I'd have 24. 0.8 feet per inch going that direction. Now I'm not going to have two scales, so I'm going to pick the one that's going to allow the most stuff to fit. I'm simply going to take the larger of the two and round it up to the next standard scale. Well, our next standard scale in civil engineering work in English units would be 1 inch equals 30 feet. Therefore, if I apply this, I can simply say 320 feet uh, divided by 30 feet per inch will give me, what, 10.67 inches? Is that correct? Yep. 10.67 inches, and that will fit vertically in, uh, in my drawing space, and then 570 feet divided by 30 feet per inch is going to give me, oh, let me see, it's going to be 19, isn't it? That's going to be 19 inches. So that is the size of my drawing of my mapped area, and that is less than the size of my available uh, of my available drawing. So